When's the last time you talked to Coach Saban? Um, not for a while. I text him stuff. I actually texted him this morning on a situation um, because he said, like, today's his big situation day. So anytime something new comes up that in the three years there we never thought of or wasn't on something, I may draw it up and send it to him or something. Um, like there was a situation this morning that I did that with. But um, but that's that's him. He's not – He's not, no matter who you are, he's not a pick up the phone and call and, you know, check in and, you know, see how things are going or ask you if you want to, you know, come hang out or something. <laughs> I asked him, I said, does your wife, he was on yesterday. I said, does your wife ever remind you to have fun? And then he goes, people always say that I'm not having fun, but I'm having fun. And he said it like that, coach. Oh, I, I know. Fun is fun dan fun is winning and you hold that trophy and you take a picture and then you hand it away and then you go work on the next one that's fun dan have you ever seen him where you where he's like cutting loose like a couple beers and he's dancing or having fun (sighs) no no not really um i've I've not seen that no So there was a there was that anonymous poll or whatever about coaches and and who you'd want to have a, who you want to go have a beer with and like three coaches like pick Nick Saban and I'm like first off he doesn't drink and second off well, like where would you even picture this happening? <laughs> well, what if we went to the lake house? Um, yeah, I still still don't think you're gonna have a beer with him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What if we went to Applebee's and just sat in a booth and just had some wings or something and you know just shot the breeze? He's not gonna he's not gonna let his guard down. No, that's not that's not his baby. He's not going to Applebee's. That's not <laughs> like <laughs> he's not doing something that's not in his office. Like oh okay, that's not scheduled. That's not scheduled with it. There's got to be a night. There have to be an itinerary and an agenda of the conversation, like an itinerary for the conversation at Applebee's. Like, what are we going to talk about? <laughs> He'd have a, it would have to be a wait, wait, wait. Have to be he, he, sent, to him, sent to him two days in advance. What he he would have an itinerary if you guys went out and just had like a social meeting, social gathering. Yeah, well, that would never happen. Okay, but. If it did that, and I'm saying that because he's so organized and detailed, that's how he is every minute of every single day. There's not like, you don't just, he just doesn't sit for five minutes and like have a conversation with you. Like, Hey, uh, what'd you do last night? Or how are the kids? Like, that's not happening. Like, <laughs> there's every minute of the day. There's, there's, that's why he's so good. There's zero wasted time in his day from the second he wakes up on the, on his drive in when he's driving in, he's already calling people about work stuff, you know, on his 15-minute drive in. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.